Hi guys, Steve here from advrider.life. Hope you're safe and well. In today's video, I wanted to talk about this. This is the new Drift Ghost XL helmet camera. Only came out towards the back end of last year. Um, it's not that easy to get hold of at the moment. If you go into the Drift website, they're sold out on there. I bought this from Infinity Motorcycles, so maybe they've got still got stock of them. The three main reasons I went for this, and that's over a GoPro, because I was in the market for a GoPro as well, but I decided to uh, decided to go with this after quite a bit of um, research. One of the main reasons was the size. If you've seen a lot of the uh, the vloggers that, that use GoPros, they usually have it mounted on the front face of the helmet. And to do that, you need to have an adhesive on the side here, a bracket coming around to bring the camera in the front. Then you need to buy the additional uh, microphone adapter which plugs into the GoPro and then bring that into the helmet. Um, so I didn't really want to go for all that kind of scaffolding as I call it because I prefer it, a camera sits just nicely on the side, isn't in the way too much um, and yeah that's, that's just what I like. The second reason for going with this camera is out of the box it is IPX7 rated. So that means that it's fully waterproof without doing anything else to it. You don't have to put it into a plastic box or anything like that. Um, I believe you get the 4K, the Ghost X, you do have to put that into a plastic casing. But with this one it is waterproof right out of the box. So that's another plus for me. I don't need to do anything additional with it. You know, I mean, I live in the UK, you're riding around most of the time, it's going to end up raining. So I don't want to be having to be messing about with putting extra cases and that kind of thing on here. So the other reason on going for this over a GoPro was the cost. This retails at $149.99. Whereas if you want to get the new GoPro 8 Black Edition, for example, I've seen that from between $279 to £379. And still you cannot plug a mic directly into it. Now you've got to buy some kind of surround that goes around it that gives you those connections but all you're doing is adding to the bulk of the size of the camera itself so I've decided not to go down that route. Now in terms of things that you actually get with the camera you obviously get the camera, um, you get two adhesive mounts, you get a straight one and a curved one, um, you get this little thing which is basically the mount so that screws into there and then you can put that onto, uh, onto the helmet. You also get with it uh, this important cable which is the waterproof connector that goes from the camera to a 3.5 millimeter microphone. The microphone is sold separately uh, and I have purchased one of those and I will show you that in a second that's already installed in the helmet. So the only other extra that I got with this is the uh, remote control uh, which is advertised as working just with the 4k version but it does actually work with the XL2. Now there's been quite a few complaints I've seen on YouTube about this controller because it kind of comes in this uh, rubberized watch strap and I guess what they want you to do is you're riding your bike, you've got your gear on, you've got this round, you go like that, press the button, it starts recording. Now there's, there's no way that strap is going to fit around your gear, no way. So what I've done is I've done away with the watch strap completely. And I've just put together um, just like a little square template of Velcro. Can't put it all the way across because there is a watch battery in there. So I've created that and then I have stuck that to the cockpit of my motorcycle. So it's just there. I mean, it's nice and black. It blends in with the cockpit. It sits on the cockpit. When I want to record, I press it. When I want to stop, I press it. Um, it does have a very small couple of holes up at the top. Again, you might not be able to see that, um, but you can use that to tether it to something. So if you have just a piece of string, piece of cord or something, you can put loop that around there and just tether it to somewhere. So if the Velcro does give way, um, you know you don't lose the uh, don't lose the remote control. So let's have a look at installing this onto a typical adventure style helmet. To actually mount the camera onto your helmet, it just uses one of these adhesive pads, very very similar to a GoPro. And all you need to do is feed the camera into the pad, like that, until it clicks, and then adjust it, you know, where you want it, where you want it to be. Now, 
the other thing you have to keep in mind that generally when you're on a motorcycle your head will be sort of slightly dipped a little bit like that so you need to sort of compensate for that and probably aim the camera up a little bit this uh, camera will actually hook up to your uh, phone iPhone or Android and there is an app on there that you can view what the camera's looking at so that you can adjust this whilst you sort of sat there on your bike and make sure that it's in the position that you want it to be. So once you've got it into the position that you want, you're gonna to need to put the uh, the mic adapter on there. Now, the mic adapter is uh, just like this and all you need to do is plug it into there and then spin it round. What we do as well is make sure that this isn't plugged into the mic and you're kind of holding it a little bit. So as you turn there, it twists this, you know, it's never a good thing to do. So just let it spin freely and twist it all the way in. Now the actual microphone, um, which I've put inside the helmet already, I'll just try and show you where it is without uh, unraveling it all. So you can see this section here, which is coming out. So this is the 3.5 millimeter cable, which will plug into this in a second now I don't know what other helmets are like but this helmet seems to suit this camera very very well because if you can see just under there there's just kind of like a little a little lip and that is where I've actually hidden the cable uh, that comes raveled with the uh, with the mic so the cable is behind well I guess there's your, your rear cushion in there and then I've got it coming through into this section just here, I don't know if you can see that there, we'll get a bit close to the camera, comes into this section here. I do have a mic on there already, but this is for, that's for intercom, um, but I've put the mic in there. And all I've done is just used a bit of 3M Velcro. I've um, put two sides together, sandwiched the microphone cable in between it, and then put the other side on the inside of the helmet and stuck it in there. But it just means it's flexible. I can move it around if I want to, um, just makes it nice and easy. So once you've got your mic positioned where you want, then you can hook this into 3.5 millimeter adapter. And then as I said, the design of this camera is really good because you can literally just push and it sits into that little groove. So the only thing that is sat outside of your camera cable wise is that there coming up to the camera so that's a really nice clean install so before I go the other thing I would just point out with this camera um, again I've seen a lot of comments on YouTube that people just don't like this camera saying that it, it does not work it does not do what it's supposed to do and that the customer service from drift is is shocking now I can't comment on the customer service from Drift because I've not had any interactions with them uh, whatsoever because I haven't needed to. All I would say is this came straight out of the box and the first thing that I did is I charged it for five hours like it says in the instructions and then the next thing I did was update the firmware on it. That was before I did anything else. I made sure that the software on the camera was as up to date as it possibly could be and doing that I've had no problems. Now, unfortunately, we are still in lockdown here in the UK, so I haven't been able to uh, test this as much as, as, much as I can. Um, I have had the helmet on in the house and run around the house and tried out the mic and all that kind of thing, and that all seemed to go quite well, so I am looking forward to getting out on the bike on it. So what I will do, uh, once lockdown is uh, lifted, I'll be out on the bike, I will test it out, and I will do another video and show you the, uh, the mic quality and how I can get the best out of that. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, please share, please put your comments in there. I'll be happy to uh, respond to them. Take care, everyone. See you later.